Family Life, or as it's better known, Family I Wish I Was Dead. Florence M. King. She has no family and is living the high life. Look, there go the Millers again. Off for another day at Crystal Lake. Jason Voorhees lets them use the place when he's in Manhattan. Wish my family were like that. We never do anything. Never have the time. I'm too busy hating on future generations for being lazy. People are asking how the Millers manage to have so much fun as a family. Lots of alcohol. What's the answer? Is it money? Or is it magic? Neither. It's something they worked out together. Family orgy night. The fact that they wanted their family life to be fun. Who doesn't? But how did they work it out? To understand, let's go back several months. Eaves drop on the Millers one Friday evening before they got wise to themselves. Before they discovered our hidden cameras. Their lives were a hellish nightmare of string beans. Mother. Work faster, Mother! Let's have dinner ready at 6 o'clock. I'm sorry, Catherine. I just didn't finish my other work in time. Oh, well. But it's green bean stew well, night! I'm not holding it anyway. Nobody seems to care that I have a date at 7 o'clock. It's even someone you disapprove of. You Pay attention to me! Care. I'll do the dishes alone. But you and Dad are going to the movies. I'm too tired. Plans changing because of unforeseen circumstances? This family is falling apart! I meant to come home and clean it, Mother. But after school, there was a meeting with her. Ah, Crispin Glover arrives home. Tonight, you said you'd press them. I know, Harold, but I just didn't. Why don't you press them yourself? Say, where's my racket? I think this family has bigger issues. Time keeps hiccuping. I meant to tell you. You broke it. And meet with an important match tomorrow. That pompadour's my hair. Where would I get the money? Money. Mother, I need a couple of dollars to take Mary out tonight. I haven't any money, Harold. I'm too tired to have money. But you might have when he comes home. Fine thing. Dinner late. Tennis racket broken. No money for date. Man, no pants to wear. He only has one pair of pants? we were a business. We go bankrupt, but fast. If this was a business, you'd be fired for slamming your boss's office door. That night, Mrs. Miller was thinking about what Harold said. If this family were a business... I could fire my children and hire cheaper children overseas. We have money to handle, just as a business has. Yet we never make it last from one payday to the next. Dad's not working on finances. He's baffled by the junior jumble. To manage. Isn't there a better way to manage ourselves? Wouldn't we all be happier if we worked out a little system for living together in harmony? Control and repression, the key to happiness. It's worth a try. She said the same thing when she decided to try a diet exclusively of Wendy's chili. I've called this first meeting of the Miller family to propose that we try to establish a definite program for managing our home so that we'll all get more out of it. Call for a vote of no confidence in mom. And more harmony. I'm certainly in favor of those things. Harmony, leisure, fun. Who isn't? DC well, Comics. Manage them. We'll have to work out the full answer together. But for a start, I've made a list of points that will guide us. One, schedule. We will schedule Two, times for fun. Three, privileges. And how to and check our privileges. Finances. Sounds impressive. What do they mean? How do they work? What does paper taste like? Remember last Friday evening? It was nothing special. We've had plenty of differences just like it. But not quite as much stabbing. I caused a good part of the trouble by not having dinner on time. We need to make a definite schedule and stick to it so we can all make plans accordingly. Even when I'm physically and mentally exhausted to the point where I can't even stand up, we must keep to the schedule. Yes, but then I didn't have dinner ready, so I... Because you took time to clean my room. That's something I should have done. Well, that's my set point. Oh, whatever he had to say probably wasn't important, Mom. Well, responsibilities and privileges always go together. Like grape jelly and mustard. Responsibilities. Then we acquire certain privileges. Such as? 
Well, such as... I can think of one. The privilege of such interrupting people. Rights respected. Such as having someone ask your permission when she wants to borrow your tennis racket. That's a general idea. Now, my fourth point... We're canceling your 401k, kids. Yes, where are we going to get more money? We don't. You mean a budget? Well, if we were a business, wouldn't we have a plan for spending our money? Well, yeah, but then you'd keep getting bailouts from the government, too. Well, I'd like to suggest that we adjourn for now and all give this some serious thought, and then get together for another meeting next Monday after dinner to discuss a plan for spending and, and all these other matters. Good idea. I'd like to have these family meetings every week. I'm as square as a Rubik's Cube. Later on, we can check up on how we're doing. Well, it looks as though I really started something. Mother was voted off the board of directors for the family a week later. That's how the Millers came to manage their home, so it would be more fun. By being anal retentive. These guides to home management, can my family use them? Well, let me give you a few clues. No, they can't. Take the matter of schedule. Here's a breakfast scene at the Miller's. Notice how they have to choke down Mother's cooking. By following a practical morning schedule, they're already in time for school and work. And then they're wiped away like an Etch-a-Sketch. Mother has plenty of pep left to entertain friends. Because by scheduling the work she does each day, she saves herself from doing too much. And so her work ends up half-assed and, and unfinished. When jobs are scheduled, Harold is glad to help his father. It doesn't happen that he has other important plans for the day. Then again, Harold doesn't have a social life anyway. Responsibilities, which are divided up according to individual abilities and interests. Besides doing assigned jobs and caring for his own clothes and belongings, each is responsible for being considerate of the others. When they're not, they get the belt. Putting things back where others expect to find them. With responsibilities, go privileges. Nail privilege ensures that mother and daughter will never have lives outside the home. Each member has individual rights. The right to open his own mail. The right of privacy. To work alone, undisturbed by loud noises in the house. The right to bear arms against people who come in. And the right to have opinions respected. This privilege the Millers protect in their family council meeting. Harold's right to filibuster the meeting is not infringed. Guide to home management, finances. As you know, our financial position has greatly improved during the six months we've been planning our spending instead of letting our money slip away from us. Well, if they already knew, why'd you bring it up? During the past two months, what with Mother's operation and Catherine's dental work, our medical expenses have been very heavy more than our budget could provide for. You two are no longer allowed to receive medical care. Where is the money going to come from? Well, we could take our vacation money. Oh, no! Screw your health! I want a vacation! What have been saving for? Well, can't we find the money in some other account? We've had this discussion before. I'm not slashing the defense budget. Maybe a little bit here and a little bit there. Well... I, I, I don't know. Look, that new electric mixer we figured on buying, I can do without that. No, Mother. You've been wanting that for so long. Oh, quit your whining, Harold. What would Bob Corby say? If a mixer, I'll skip my new dress. That is, if Mother will help me make over the one Aunt Grace gave me. Of course I will, dear. I'll have time in the schedule to do that in about eight months. Seat covers in the car put off getting new ones until next spring. Sure thing. And if I can get a little help with my jobs around here, I'll be able to clear time to pick up some extra money working after... The trick line wait, wait, where? How am I supposed to budget my time if I don't know where to pick up extra hours? That's how the Millers are using good home management to achieve a happier family life. Because everybody cooperates no. unconditionally and never you refuses to budge on an issue. Looks good to me to help make your home a well-managed home. Unfortunately, appearances can be deceptive. Harold had been pilfering money from the family budget for years into a Swiss bank account. The accounting department got wind of it, and Harold was forced to flee the country. Mother eventually started her own independent family, while father created several shell families in which to embezzle funds, drawing inspiration from Harold. Catherine wrote a tell-all book that is the subject of an upcoming feature film.